Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. This video will be a quick demo about thermodynamics and heat transfer, which are not the same. If we charge up this bottle with pressurized air, then the thermodynamics equation is going to be one of movement of energy through this tube and into the bottle. As we go up to 150 PSI, but there's heat transfer situation going on too brought the bottle up to 120 psi but we didn't just move pressure into the bottle we also moved heat in and now we're going to see in the thermal camera we can see the temperature climbing on the exterior of the bottle which means that the air itself is transferring its heat out through the steel and then it's losing heat that was captured energy inside of the bottle it's going to peak maybe around 30 degrees so for the first period, while we raise the pressure, then we're adding energy into the system. If the system is inside the bottle and the pressure is climbing up, but also the temperature of that air is climbing up inside the bottle. And that's part of the whole energy equation. In thermal, we evaluate some idealized scenarios like moving pressure into here with an adiabatic compression. That means the heat is not also escaping from the bottle. So in thermo, we can compute ideal situations where energy is moved into a system, and that's the whole story. But then heat transfer gets, gets involved, and we actually have heat loss in the real world where the heat energy uh, that was added in, some of that moves back out of the bottle to come back to ambient conditions. I just got done posting the entire heat transfer course from a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering here on Open Me Project. Believe it or not, myself and many peers in mechanical engineering will get to the third year of their degree and they're still not even aware of what they will be studying, such as what is heat transfer? What's inside of that course? In this situation, heat transfer would take the geometry and the material of this bottle and ambient conditions to tell you how much energy is going to get lost out of that bottle from the energy we put in. After five minutes, we went from the 125 PSI to only 119. Since we lost this energy through temperature loss, then we also lost this many PSI from the peak that we pumped it up to. Now I'm getting some ideas of how I could capture more energy to stay inside of that bottle. Let me know in the comments if you have some ideas on how.